The Democratic Alliance welcomes the imprisonment yesterday evening of former President Jacob Zuma to begin his 15-month sentence for contempt of court. This is a very important message and important step for South Africa because it sets out very clearly that we are governed by a rule of law in South Africa and that rule of law applies to everybody in the country, no matter whether you're a former president or an ordinary citizen. This is a foundational principle of any sustainable democracy. It also sent out a very important and clear message to the other architects and handmaidens of state capture who themselves were assisting Mr. Zuma in his grand project and who still sit on the government benches and in the benches in parliament that their time is also approaching. If the big man can go to jail, then so too can they. The other great thing to be able to take out from the judgment uh, and, the, and the ultimate incarceration is that despite the best efforts of the state capturists and the people who perpetrated state capture in South Africa over the course of the last decade under Mr. Zuma, uh, they were unable to capture the judiciary. It remains as a solid bulwark and defense of the constitution and the rule of law in South Africa. And we should be grateful for it and we must ensure that it is protected and defended. Both the constitution and the rule of law came under significant pressure over the course of the last fortnight. And it's important that the president comes out and states unequivocally that that type of pressure and that type of uh, subterfuge and that type of uh, churning away from the principles of the rule of law need to be avoided and will not be tolerated in South Africa. There's obviously a far greater road ahead of us and last night's incarceration of Mr. Zuma is that first step on that greater road to bringing to justice the perpetrators of state capture and all of those who have robbed the country of its future and robbed from the very poorest of South Africa. They have paid the greatest price for Mr. Zuma's misdeeds and it's for them that justice must be done.